everyone, right, um, I've just got some more cards in. Uh, this is from Cardmakers Delight, and that is www.cardmakersdelights.co.uk. Okay, and these are just some more of the ones that they they sell. So you can get the British flag. I love these. That's really cute. Look at that one. Oh, my nails are filthy. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I'm working. I've got Billy May here. Say hi, Billy May. Hi. These are lovely cards, aren't they? Look at that. And then this. Can you just hang on two ticks? These are gorgeous. Steampunk. Happy Mother's Day. These are gorgeous. Love the vintage ones. Postcards. Whimsical, vintage, the postcard ones. Love that one with the scissors. That could go in the back. You can put them in the back of your uh, alteration boxes. That one. Keep calm and carry on. I always do. <laughs> the dress form, the vintage Christmas one. They do have several Christmas ones. So that is um, Cardmakers Delights, www.cardmakersdelights.co.uk. So run along if you can and have a look. They don't ship abroad at the moment, but they are planning on doing They're looking into it. Uh, but they have some fabulous, fabulous cards. And uh, I just thought you'd like to see that. And then while I'm at it... It should say keep calm and um, carry on crafting. It should say that, sweetheart. I agree with you. Keep calm and carry on crafting, Billy May say. Don't you? You said that. She's got brains as this girl. This is just a wooden tag that I've made. I've not finished the back. I'm going to gloss that over. Painted it with the um, burnt umber. And then just um, got some cogs, the chipboard cogs. Paint, uh, done the now vintage photo. Distress sink. And then rub some uh, rub and buff over some gold and then um, emboss those with the clear embossing powder. No, I didn't. I didn't. I tell a lie. I did those with the um, glossy accents and then used the pins. These are like the uh, furniture pins, but my husband cuts the backs off for me. Just a minute. And, um, and then I use them like that and I think they look brill. Now, just, just for decoration, put a little bling here. Um, and there, and then glossed it all over. So that's that's with Mod Podge. So that's that. Um, I'm just thinking. Let me. What are you up to? Just hang on a minute now. So we wash properly, honey. Uh -huh, just mm. the sand what, uh, one right. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, this was the other project. I've just got another project that I want to show you. Let me make sure. What? Yeah, just hang on a minute. Um, where's the thing gone for this? Yeah, we are. Are you online? Yeah. Won't be a minute, nearly finished. Right, this is another project I did the other day. Not keen on it now I've done it, but I did use the cards. That's from uh, uh, Card Makers Delights. I do like this. And then these are little vintage um, porcelain. It looks like a stack of um, letters. Um, using the crossover, but I've used card. This is a um, craft card. This is the corner punch that I got the other, not punch, the die the other day. Just coloured it with um, vintage photo. This was a button, so cut the back off. Just decorated it with a white gel pen. Made one of these. I showed you how to do that. I'm going to cover that because I don't like that showing. And uh, use various flowers. These are the Wild Orchid craft flowers. Some vintage lace uh, with a vintage picture. Again, this one is also from uh, Card Makers Delights. And I've just glossy accent on the pot, flower pot. I did glossy accent the flowers and the straps. Um, so that's just a little project that I've done there. Now, I'm just going to move those out of the way. Put that card in my box. So it's my box full of cards. People I buy from. And then, let me just shift this out of the way. I've just got this to show you. Now, um, this is that... Oh, what do they call that stuff now? That's, that's, 
It's that, uh, yeah, it's shabby, sh shabby pink embossing powder by Stampendous. And um, I got it in the other day and I thought, I wasn't really keen on it, to be honest. What well, I do like it without the glitter. There's too much glitter in it for me. If they didn't have glitter in it at all, I would prefer it. It would be more shabby chic. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, shabby pink embossing enamel by Stampendous. And um, I, l I like it, but I don't like the glitter. It's great if you're doing uh, butterfly wings and things like that. That would be fabulous. Um, but what I'm going to do, I've got an idea. Because really, you can't put that on, um, you know, it'd have to be all shabby and shabby chic things. But why? What? the reason why I was doing it, I was just testing it out and just to tell you what it's like. Personally, myself, I like it for doing butterflies and wings and things like that. Yeah. But I'm not struck on it, to be honest. Too much glitter in it for me. Now, but I'm going to do something and come back and show you. I'm not using this one. I'm going to develop my own. Um, so that's that. So I'm not really keen on it. <laughs> but um, this one is a new fold. Um, probably several people have done this. I have seen it several times. Um, but it was a while ago. I just wanted to come back and show you while I'm doing these extra folds on how to do pages. Yeah, just, just a minute, love. Just nearly finished. What you do, you take a 12 by 12. You fold the 12 by 12 in half. You then fold it back on itself. Turn it over. Fold it back on itself. Open it up. Fold it in half the opposite way. So you've got that crease. And then what you do is, you f once you've folded all your folds, fold, take it and do it the first way, you, the way you did it before. So you've got this fold down the middle. And then what you do is you cut from the middle, from the fold, to the first section. So you've got that. I'm just showing you. You've got that. Okay. Peekaboo. Something like that. And then what you do is you fold that up and you'll end up with that. That's what you get. And then all you do is you do that and fold the two pieces together like that. And then you fold one one way and one... Oh, no, you didn't do it that way. Fold one... Just fold them both together, sorry, like that, and fold them in half, okay? So I'll just show you that again. You've got that. Do that. Do that. Do that. And then you've got one or two, four, six, hey. eight pages. But you've also, if you open it up halfway, you can also have that. So you could use a double-sided page. What do you think of that, then? Cool. It's cool, dude. So that will then fit into a cover that you can make for it, like that. You'll open the cover. You want uh, two pages there, two pages there. You could put a magnet on these if you wanted to. Two pages there, two there, and that would obviously fit to your cover. Okay? To your front and back cover. And then all you do is you can just open it up like that to reveal four more sections. So I hope that helps. Just another way of doing it. And like I say, I'm not... Do you like that, Billy May? I love pink. Yeah, I know you love pink, but... For I don't like, like the bronze part down there. Yeah, it's a bit... Well, it's got gold mixed in with it, you see. Mm. But when you go lying there. Right, it don't look nice. No, it doesn't. It's too much glitter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nana's going to make one up. What do you think? Can I make my own? Because you can use it on anything then. Mm. I'll come back and show you that. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. There's an opinion of a young one. Please listen. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. Bye. <laughs>